was fucking shit. Okay. I'm turning that down. <laughs> I didn't test shit before I started. <laughs> I might have taken an hour to fucking prepare, but I was not preparing. <laughs> this music is making me feel like an ice cream truck is going my way. You know, we get shatter. Hi, Meeks. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking Pokemon music. Uh, <laughs> so it's like, hmm. I feel like listening to the black and white city themes. But the video I picked was uh, all of the city themes of the entire series, so it's gonna take a while to get there. I think it's approximately two hours. Oh wait, yes, it sounds really right. It should! It's from fucking the first games. Yeah, uh, I haven't sketched anything beforehand. I have no plan. I'm just fucking here. Also, things are lagging. It's not great. Oh hey, look at that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what fucking character I'm drawing. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like it takes you seven minutes to connect to chat because internet doesn't like you. <laughs> Rip. That would be a lot of Fucked up the little caps. It feels so menacing. Chatter. <laughs> Come to the Pokemon graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look behind you. There's, there's a pale white hand on your shoulder. <laughs> Unironically, I fucking love the Lavender Town theme. I used to listen to it for like so long because it's like, yes, yes, <laughs> fucking kill me, <laughs> coward. <laughs> I can't be scared of lines of town, it's the only place I can find ghastly. Oh ho! Oh ho! Head, head, head. okay. <laughs> Good thing I actually remembered to prepare this time. There you go, here we go. It's literally right there. Should make it. There we go. Pat, pat, pat. Hello! Hi, hi, hi. There we go. No. I'm vibing. Hello. Now I have pet pets. This is the first time it's ever been redeemed, and I, it's a toss-up whether I actually remember to prepare it beforehand or not, because I, I used the fucking just window capture for it, because it, it's easier. <laughs> oh, you did so nice. Yes. I did. <laughs> I, I almost forgot. I have literally no idea what character I'm drawing. <laughs> Maybe I should go through my files and look for like rap sheets for characters. I don't know. It's also really laggy. I really need to get like a fucking proper PC. God. Uh, slightly frustrating. I mean, I even. I turned down the fucking. Uh, resolution as well. Just so unfunny because I have no idea why it was at one, uh, 1080. I have no fucking clue. I'm trying to open the fucking. So slow. <laughs> Let me look at my reference sheets. <laughs> what do I have in here? I don't know what I have in here. I have no clue, to be honest. One day you get therapy scene. I'm saving up for it. I mean, I I technically have enough for the one I was looking at. Because I'm getting pre built because I have no fucking clue what I'm doing with custom. It's like, if the pre built is good enough, then it's fine. Like, I just need a good graphics card and like a, a decent, like, yeah, you know. I, I just need it to be decent. <laughs> like, if it's as good as my laptop, it'll be, like, fine. You know? Because... Good graphics card. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it needs to be, like, a decent one. <laughs> you know? It doesn't need to be, like, top of the range. Just, like, a pretty decent one. Which is also why... I can't get those these days. Yeah, that's also why I'm getting a pre built <laughs> I'm not going searching for a random graphic card. But I'm also waiting a little while as well. Because I mean, in the first place, like, I do technically have the money for it. Like, I could scrounge it out, but then I'd be, like, a little bit unsure of how much I could spend um, on other stuff. So I'm, like, waiting a little while. Um, hopefully, anyway. But... <laughs> But yeah, um, 
Because it was like, sent me like a good thousand back, you know? And I, I like having spare money. <laughs> uh, hmm. Ooh, I know. He's a good character to draw. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm fully aware of the graphics card situation. There was actually um, a conversation about it um, in <laughs> uh, one of the chats, the Discord for my um, class. Um, because we're animation students, so we kind of need, like, decent specs, just in general. <laughs> um, so there was, like, a conversation. It was actually with my roommate, mainly, because uh, their laptop can handle Maya. Neither of their like, laptops could handle Maya at all, so they can't, they can't do one of the briefs outright, because it just breaks. Um, so there was, like, a whole conversation they had at, like, 4 a.m. <laughs> where they were talking about it. It was like... Yeah, see, custom, custom stuff obviously is like a lot of the time it's better, but I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> and I don't want to fuck it up. Um, it's like it just like if it's pre built, it's fine. I don't care. There we go. There he is. That took a while to load. There he is, Kalios. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna get pre built because I don't know what I'm doing. Like, custom you have the advantage of, like, you can gather stuff over time, but... Can, I kind of know where parts go, but also I have an anxiety for nothing of anything. Yeah. I think my thing is mostly because I know there's parts that do need to be, like... ...welded and shit. Like, I think with the mo motherboard you need to do, like... ...something with that, I don't know, to connect it. And I don't know how to do that. <laughs> It's like, mm, I'd rather just get a pre-built, like, decent one. <laughs> Nothing had to be melded. Oh yeah, like, they're on mine anyway. Yeah, on yours. Like, a lot of the time, yeah, like, with the motherboard, if you're getting, like, custom motherboard, yeah, you need to, like, stick things together. For me, the wiring was the hardest part. Yeah, that, that's exactly, like, what I was scared of, because I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I don't know shit about wires, and I don't... I don't want to fuck that up, you know? Cause that's like, that's the sort of thing where if you fuck it up, like, you need to replace shit. Wiring is fun, so you know, good you can manage the wires. But it's like, ugh. You're like, anything where it's like, if, if you place it, it becomes like, semi-permanent. That terrifies me. <laughs> you know? And the thing is like, um, I did have like a class where we built PCs. Um, say pre-built is fine because you have no idea. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine is fun. You sort of do, do not have shaking hands. Yeah. Here's the thing. I have a chronic wrist injury in both of my wrists. <laughs> I do not have steady hands. <laughs> okay. I do not have steady hands. I have steady hands for drawing and that's about it. And even then, <laughs> I can't say anything. I just watched my roommate do it. Well, sometimes we we put price in, and that's it. That's it. But, um, yeah. I, when I was in like second year of high school, which was I would have been like thirteen or fourteen, I think. Um, wait, no, it would have been when I was in first year of high school. I didn't have. IT class at second year of high school. I only had it in first year. So I would've been fucking 11 or 12. <laughs> I would've been 11 or 12. We had a class where we did put together a PC. But... That was eight years ago. <laughs> That'll be very outdated by now, even if I did somehow remember. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything's so laggy. Oh. Yeah, so I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna buy a pre-built. I have a couple um, picked out. I have like four options. Oh gosh, talking about making stuff reminding me of my- That's fine. <laughs> um. Ah! Phlegm, ah! <laughs> I tried speaking and it was just caught in my throat because of phlegm. God damn it. Um, oh gosh, talking about making stuff remind me of my awful technology teacher who legitimately traumatized my friends. Fuck that guy so much. Oof. 
Oof. Yeah, I've, uh... Yeah, I have shit kinda like that. That was a technology teacher. Um... More so with mass. And it wasn't that they were actively trying to traumatize me, but... It, it, it did that. <laughs> and it was mostly due to my mental health already being absolute shit by that point. But, you know. I don't know what this does. I don't know what I want to draw. <laughs> Put your hand up if you ever feel personally attacked by your professor slash teacher. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I told the story about like my prices are hands so fucking fast. <sighs> I don't even know if I want to talk about that. Actually, <laughs> do I want to talk about that? I don't know. It was a, it was only a couple years ago, so <laughs> I still kind of feel it. Well, at least you just sure told me she don't like me. Oof. I, I was like generally well liked by teachers, but I had issues in my last year of high school. Um, because I've mentioned it on stream before, but, um, I had a lot of, uh, well, I had mental health problems, like, all the way throughout high school, and I still have them, because, you know, that shit doesn't really go away. <laughs> I mean, I fucking, I dissociated earlier today, so, I mean, that, <laughs> there you go, um, still very present, um, but. Uh, yeah, like, but particularly in my last year of high school, um, I think I have mentioned this before, um, that, it, well, it was my last two years of high school, actually, um, my mental health issues fucking nosedived, like, I thought they were bad before, no, they nosedived, um, when I hit, uh, S5. <laughs> Completely slam dunked. Like, the bar was so low, and it went lower. It con- it just fucking- I- not congo line, what- what's the word? What the fuck is called? Uh... I don't know. I don't even know what the word is. Anyway, it went under the bar. Like, it- it drilled into the ground. <laughs> um... And I realized I had a problem. <laughs> I realized I had a problem about halfway through my fifth year of high school. Um, I knew I had a problem before that, but I realized that I actually like legitimately needed help or I was gonna fucking just commit unexist. <laughs> you know, um, I can laugh about that now, but... <laughs> Like, it was really serious at the time, because I was, like, actively hurting myself during class, because I was just so... I was just not doing good at all. Like, I was actively, like, rubbing skin off my arm. Um, like, when I was super stressed in, like, maths class especially, because it, it really hit me in maths class, um, because... By this point, my memory started being affected, and it's still affected by it. Like, I still have a god-awful memory, as demonstrated by about two minutes ago. <laughs> um, can also raise up my hands and legs. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, my math teacher in that year was, like, really supportive, and, like, it was not her fault, like, at all. Like, that I was struggling, she was trying her best, I was trying, but, like, this was stuff that I, I needed help with, you know, like, it was kind of out of both of our hands by that point. But she was trying her best to, like, comfort me when I would, like, have panic attacks most days in class. <laughs> and, you know, like, it, it, like, slowly got worse over the year. Um, like, it was fine at the start of the year, and then, like, once we started having, like, assessments and stuff, that, that's when it became pretty obvious that I was having issues to everyone involved <laughs> um, and it was made worse by the fact that like up until then I had never been I, I was one of those kids that just never had to fucking study like I I will fully admit like I'm naturally smart <laughs> if you call that like I was a gifted kid <laughs> golden child whatever you want to call it um, yeah, so I was not prepared for that. 
at all, and so my mental health got even worse than it already was. And like, I feel so weird, like, because I, I had, um, vent accounts and stuff on Instagram. I'm not gonna say what they were, um, because they have pictures of me and stuff. But, like, I, I had vent accounts and stuff, and looking back at my posts from that time, it's like I'm a completely different person. Like, honestly. Like, I, I see, I vent on Twitter sometimes. Like, that is fucking nothing compared to the shit I was saying then. Cause, I mean, obviously I was significantly less mature at that time anyway. But like, I was... You, you can tell, like, my mental state was super bad. Um... And the, the reason why I even realized I had such a bad problem that I needed to get help was because one of my friends from school DM'd me after she saw, like, one of the events and was like, Dude. Please, go do something. This isn't good at all. I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> I've legit just <laughs> zoned out of why I'm actually drawing. It's so laggy, but it's really difficult. Yeah, again, I deleted my private switches for that reason because it felt you have to have it there and look back all. See... <sighs> I mean, I, st I still use that those accounts. I had two, actually. I had one that was my... Not my main account, because I, I guess my art account on Instagram would be my main. But I had it as like my main spam account, because I use it just to like talk to people as well. So I wouldn't delete it, because I still have like people on there that I want to talk to sometimes, you know? <laughs> um, and... Yeah, you know, it's weird. And then I had like another one which was... It, it was a kin account. <laughs> but I didn't really kin in the first place. Like, I was like, yeah, I relate to these characters and I'll use them to, like, indicate my mood. But, like, I wasn't, like, the insane Sir Kinnies that you see all the time. It, I mostly just used it for, like, events that I didn't want to put on my spam account that had significantly more people following it. Like, it was just a bit more personal there. Just slightly. <laughs> um. Um, but, like, especially on that, like, I can scroll back significantly easier on, um, the <laughs> Kenny account, um, because I post significantly less on there, because, you know, there's more serious stuff, but less frequently. I don't leave my old Facebook to go away from all the religious people I used to be involved with. Oh, okay! <laughs> That's a deep mark lore, I guess. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I don't know. I, I'm kind of tempted to. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to go back and like look and like read out one of the posts just to show like how different my mental state was. But at the same time, like it's super personal. And then they started emailing me these bad boys. Oof. Oof. No bueno. I can't fucking draw with this lag. Oh my god, it's really infuriating actually. Do I have stabilization on this? I do, that's why. <laughs> that doesn't help. Having stabilization on does not help. <laughs> um. Yeah, she's. Stop. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't do that. No. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Oh my god, the lag is infuriating. Okay. Okay, great, you're just gonna do that. Cool. This, this, this is my life now, I guess. Okay, cool. This is why I don't do drawing streams often. I just sit here for ages contemplating what I'm even gonna draw, and then I get put off because it lags so much while I'm streaming because it's, uh, my laptop can't, for some reason, they just particularly can't handle drawing. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, da da da, uh, rent account, uh, guinea account, uh, I was thinking of re going back and reading off one of the depresso posts. I feel like that's a bad idea though. <laughs> it's an awful idea. But, um, yeah, I don't know, it's interesting. Um, the reason I was telling that story in the first place was back to the fucking teacher topic. Jesus. Um, 
Yeah, I, I was, um, I went to get help during fifth year, but I didn't get, like, the vast majority of it until sixth year, and I didn't really recover that much until after school was over, because my, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure someone's probably noticed it with my Twitter, but, like, when I do vent on there, is that my mental health dips. Um, quite significantly when I have impending deadlines. Um, when, when I'm... I'm really... It's really frustrating because in order to function like a normal human being, I need to have, like, intense deadlines. But <laughs> my mental health always takes a dip when I'm feeling stressed. If I get stressed, like, it takes, like, a major dip. Um... <laughs> So it's a very difficult balance, um, where I'm best off when it's self-imposed um, stress, where it's like stuff I want to do. Um, but obviously, that's not how life works, <laughs> and the industry I'm going into is known for crunch culture, so that's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, da, 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 da. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, like, I sh I'm sure someone probably noticed my change in energy over the fucking animation streams. <laughs> um, like at the start, where I was like, I was less stressed about it. I was like, pretty happy. And then towards the end, when I had a deadline and. One to two days, I was significantly more depressed <laughs> and anxious. I'm sure, someone probably noticed that, um, or at least now that I've said it, noticed that. <laughs> but yeah, so. Um, I'm gonna get help in my, like, fifth year of high school, but I didn't get most of it until, like, summer or sixth year. Um, and then I had, like, I had two different- I had two counselors, um, all throughout sixth year, um, high school. Like, I, so I had one within the school, um, and I had one outside of school. Um, so I had one that I would go to during one of my free periods on a Monday and I had one I would like travel to after school um so like <laughs> the first one the one on the Monday um was more like just general therapy like we weren't like working on stuff we were just we would just talk about like what was going on oh that was fine you know like I liked having those sessions, I would definitely, I mean, it was therapy, basically, so, <laughs> but, I mean, I definitely had some worse sessions than others because they were just worse days than others, um, but, like, then I'd have the Friday session, which was, um, it, it was, um, CBT, and not the cock and ball tortured kind. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was cognitive behavioral therapy, <laughs> um, which I honestly couldn't tell you how we were working on that because I don't fully know. <laughs> I was very, very zoned out. Um, <laughs> I think I, I've. I think I've actually like blocked out most of that year, so it makes it a little difficult to talk about because I'm like, uh, I only remember vaguely like a few things, <laughs> and it's mostly in regards to that specifically. Uh, what am I doing? What time am I doing? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing.
feel like I should lower this eyebrow for that look. There's the boy. Um, 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 what was I talking about? It's really difficult to concentrate. <laughs> I still struggle to concentrate a lot. Um, hmm. My brain, like, just leaves off. It, like, deletes the file after it's closed. <laughs> it saves the file, and then I close it, and then it deletes it, and I need to go search for a backup. That's basically all my memory does at this point. Yay. Um, I'm still... I'm, I really hope that it kind of recovers eventually. <laughs> That'd be nice. I used to have, like, a really good memory, but... Uh... No, it's... now it's poopy. So the leg is making it pick up different things in single strokes, apparently. This is like hella not how his hair works, but whatever. That's fun. I can go off breath with it. For funsies. As a treat. I don't know why I even sketched. My memory is incredibly specifically in. Ugh. My memory is incredibly specific in certain places and awful in others. See, my, my memory. I don't even know how to describe how it used to be. Because, like, I, it was like the sort of thing where I never had to pay attention to it. Because, like, I would just remember shit. <laughs> you know? Like, it, it was, like, very, very geared towards just remembering anything I was taught. Like, if I was taught it, like, I would remember it. And now it's just like, <laughs> no. No, no. I don't remember shit. Like, yeah, it, it, I don't know. I, the thing was, I didn't fully notice it, like, when I was struggling so much. I, I didn't understand why I was struggling. And, like, I know now, because I noticed it, like, when my head was clearer. Because at the time, like, I was basically going through the motions for, like, a full two years straight, you know? Um, basically. Um, what do I want to do here? I don't know. Um, mm. <laughs> But yeah, like, I didn't notice it until after where I, I realized, like, I was struggling. My tea's cold. Great. <laughs> I, I realized um, I was struggling to remember stuff, and it's like, what the fuck? What, what happened to- Oh. Um. Cause like, I kind of realized it during the year, cause like, when I was thinking, it was like, well... Like, I'm- I, I'm fine at problem solving. My problem solving ability hasn't changed. And like, I could prove that because like, I think I've mentioned it, um in my math class. Um, like, that was where I was most affected by it, because it was my most academic... Um, well, I had, like, advanced higher geography as well, but that wasn't... We didn't even have a teacher for that, so... <laughs> that's not really gonna prove anything there. Um, like... Yeah, in, in the UK... I think it's the entire UK, because it's called the UKMT Maths Challenge, <laughs> but um, so I assume it's the UK. Um, but yeah, we have that, and it's basically, um, it's through maths classes, and it kind of uses maths, but not. Well, it is maths, but it's like, it's more built for problem solving. It's puzzles, just using maths that you would know basically up until that point in fourth year maths you know it was basically up to like basic nat 5 maths um so like it wasn't it was stuff i could still remember like i still had that knowledge you know like i did super well in a, in fifth year still like despite all my problems um 
And I did pretty fucking good in six years as well. Like, nothing spectacular, but like, I was one of the few people to get an award in the class in the first place. Um, but like, yeah, so it was like, it wasn't that complicated math, but it was still, it was very difficult because it was problem solving, not just straight up maths. Yeah, you know, it wasn't like um, an exam. I mean, it was in like exam conditions, but it was multiple choice and you didn't have to answer all the questions. It's, it's really difficult to describe how it is because um, very, very specific. <laughs> um, I, I guess it's kind of like how I'm aware, like, multiple choice questions work in America, but, um, yeah, like, the maths, it wasn't, like, <laughs> it wasn't how a maths exam would usually go, like, with questions. So, like, you'd have questions 1 to 15, um, and they you, you started with certain points, and you'd have questions 1 to 15, which were like the main batch that you were supposed to go through. Uh, then you had like 15 to 30, and then 30 to 50 or something. I don't know. Um, I, I don't remember how many questions there were exactly. I need to make this body bigger. I, I'm trying to like counteract this issue I have where I draw my heads too big. It's really difficult. <laughs> I don't pay attention to it. Hmm. Okay. Um. But yeah, so you, you start with a certain amount of points, and um, you lose points if you got a question wrong, right? You wouldn't lose any if you didn't attempt the question, and like if, if you didn't write. If you didn't put the answer down for the question, I don't think you'd lose any. Um... I don't think anyway. Did you? It's kind of hard to remember. Um... <laughs> exactly what it was, because, I mean, I did this ten... I, I mean, I did it a few times, but, like... It was so infrequent, like... It would pop up like once a year, and I didn't do it every single year, I don't think. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, you you do like questions 1 to 15. Those were like the main batch you were supposed to do. I think with those ones, you wouldn't lose any points if you got them wrong, but you gave points if you got them right. And then, like, 15 to 30. Um, you would lose points if you got them wrong, and you gain more points if you got them right. So it would like increase the points you earned from getting them right, but it would also give you a penalty if you got them wrong. Um, uh, da 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 um, 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 my brain just went kaput for a second because my phone buzzed and distracted me for half a second and now it's gone. <laughs> my entire train of thought ruined, just dead. Um, mm, where was I? Uh, yeah, um, and then like the last little set of questions. Um, you'd gain even more points for getting them correct, but you'd lose even more points if you got them wrong. So you were basically supposed to do like the first 15 questions, that was like the default. Um, didn't have to answer them all, but like go through them, try them all, you know, write something down for all of them, um, whether you know or not, just because in the off chance that you guess it right, you get extra points. So you can guess the, the first 15. Don't guess the ones after that, though, because you will lose points if you get them wrong. This is like literally how we were told to do it on the pamphlet for the um, test. Um, 
and then just, yeah. And so, you know, they, these were difficult. One of problems requiring one of the solutions. They, they literally like said like, answer the first fifteen questions. Like just do it no matter what. Even if you're guessing, you can guess on these. You're fine. Like you can do it. You're not gonna lose any points if you get these ones wrong. So like. But, like, in the off chance that you do guess them right, you can gain points. Like, just do them, you know? Whether it's guessing or if you figure them out. Spend most of your time on that. Like, again, like, if you get them right, like... If you do the working and then you get them right, you can get more points because you'll know they're right. And you'll be more certain of that. Um, but, like, if you need to guess them, like, just guess them. Like, we don't care. Cool. Like, that's literally how you were supposed to do it. Um, but like, it was like, don't guess any questions after 15 though, because if you get them wrong, you'll lose a point. Do the working for them. If you have the time to do it, do the working from, for them. Um, put the answers down for those like where you can, but like, we don't expect you to do these at all. <laughs> like, but you can do them, like if you want to, but they're harder as well. They were like harder, they would get harder over time. Um, I don't know why it's super bad. It just is. <laughs> this best, I mean, it makes sense. It be kind of bad, to be honest. This isn't even like the outfit I was gonna do him in. I came out wrong. Draw him in. <laughs> Not do him in, draw him in. Um, I'm gonna draw him in the other one. Da, 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 da. My voice is like really rough today, and I don't know why. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so like, yeah, so this test, like, because it was more problem solving based, I was fucking good at it. Like, I wasn't the best, but like, I was pretty good at it, all things considered, because we had an hour to do these. You see, um,. I think it was actually technically like an hour and 30 minutes or something like that. It was like something really specific. <laughs> um, well, not, not, not like super super specific. You get more specific, but like... I don't... Was it an hour? Like straight up? It might have actually just straight up been an hour. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> um, like, yeah, like... So we did the test and we'd leave and we'd be like, cool, we paid money to do that because we had to pay to do them. <laughs> um, so like, not everyone would, but we were encouraged to do it. Um, so I did it like most times the opportunity was given to me because like, I guess, sure, okay. I mean, it's during a mass period, so whatever. Cool, I guess. Yeah, so we do it, we share answers and stuff that we can remember, you know, the usual stuff. Um, but it would be like, it, it was pretty stress-free, because like, we had no obligation to do well on this, it was literally just funsies. Like, hm, we can do math, let's do this, why not? Fuck it. I think it was technically a competition, but no one cared, like, it didn't do anything. I think you can technically put it on your CV, but like, who cares? <laughs> like, I don't... Whatever. <coughs> um, but yeah, so like, the reason I know that my problem solving skills weren't affected was because I was one out of like five people who got the award in my last year um, in the class. And I viscerally remember like, Seeing like the slight tinge of shock on my teacher's face. Stop control D the entire thing. Fuck off. Yeah, I'm gonna do a buffer. There you go. But yeah, like <laughs> I still vaguely remember the teacher's um surprise when I was one of the few people in the class to win a reward an award because like you have to understand I was not passing the basic unit assessments <laughs> because I was having panic attacks during them and if I wasn't having panic attacks during them I had no idea what I was doing 
because I couldn't remember the formulas. If I was doing it like directly after practicing, and if I had the teacher there, I could do them fine. I could pass them just fine. Like, if I was just told, like, which formula I had to do, I could do it, you know? But, like, because in this year, like, you had, to rem you had to memorize, like, a good portion of the formulas. You got a formula sheet, but, like, you had to remember a lot of them. Which was annoying, um, considering everything. <laughs> um, like... Yeah, like, as long as I knew, like, what formula I was supposed to use where, like, I could pass them fine. Like, I could do the maths. I just couldn't remember the formulas. Um. <laughs> I, like, the teacher even fucking noticed this. I was like, huh. <laughs> so, I, I don't know why I didn't cross his mind there was, like, something was wrong with my memory. Because <laughs> it crossed my fucking mind. I was like... Is, is my memory fucked up? Is that what the problem is? Like, af after the fucking, like, math challenge, I was like, I is the problem that my memory is fucked? Like, because I, I knew, like, part of the problem was that I was having panic attacks while I was supposed to be doing it, so I mean, that doesn't fucking help. <laughs> but, like, like, by extension, I was like, did my memory get, like, actually fucked? Like, what? Uh-huh. I can't, I can't remember shit. <laughs> like, I, why can't I memorize this? You know, because again, like, I, I hadn't had any issues with memorizing stuff before that, and now I can't, like, memorize anything. Like, I, I forget, like, my fucking groceries after five minutes, like, what I need to get, and then I come back later, and I realize, like, two hours later, like, oh shit, I need to get eggs. <laughs> I forgot about that part because I got distracted for two minutes. <laughs> like, I can't remember my fucking groceries, let alone complex max formulas. <laughs> like, okay? Okay. <laughs> like, you know, that's great. But, like, I, I, like, out. I actually only realized recently, like, that I had blocked out so much of that year because I don't remember anything from fifth and sixth year. Like, I remember little bits and pieces, but like, I don't remember shit. <laughs> I don't remember shit. It was, it was like such a weird realization there because, like, huh. Like, that, that was only like a year ago, or that was only like two years ago, but I can't remember. Like, I can't remember anything with this. <laughs> Which is interesting to realize. I'm like, oh, that's a problem. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know. I don't know if my memory's gonna come back to normal eventually or what. <laughs> I just realized I was looking at this eyes wrong. It's been so long since I drew this character. It's been like a year at least. To drink properly anyway. Something like that. Definitely before I go into VTubers. At the very least. SLT is cold now. Oh, that was surprising to drink. But this tea, at the very least, like tastes okay. Cold, at the very least, but it's still depressing when it's cold. <laughs> like, mm, I mean, it's like it's not like terrible, but <laughs> I kind of fucking hate it. <laughs> Oh god, this is gonna be hell to line just because so laggy. It's really bad with stabilization. It was bad enough without it, but I'm like dependent on stabilization now in Club Studio. Full T. Yeah. This is what I mean when I talk about memory problems. I forgot I had tea several times. <laughs> I mentioned I had cold tea a few times and I kept forgetting about it still. 
my control Z please work? Thanks. That's gonna make it take so much longer. Control Z fucking lags. Does not make it easy to draw at all whatsoever. <laughs> Just realized print screen is covered by channel, whatever. Okay. I wonder if I should move that maybe. <laughs> maybe I should readjust that. Oops. See where the fucking shit is. Uh, it's gone. Everything is wiring. God damn it. Is that a thing? Ah. Might be a bit smaller, but. a little bit better. I'm gonna figure out what the game specifically is from. Sounds like it's at least Gen 3. Is it? It sounds like it's at least Gen 3. I can't tell. I'm getting really tired too. That's great. I'm going for a bit longer. I'm gonna try and get this like at least lined, if not colored and stuff too. Maybe like the first sound Gen 3. Yeah, like it, so it sounds. Gen 3 and Gen 4 have like similar sounds, things, so it makes it a little bit difficult to tell. But I think it's Gen 3. I, I'm not gonna check though, because <laughs> um, browser makes things even laggier than they already are. And I don't want to deal with that, and it's going to take a while to load if I try to check anyway. Just by itself. You know? Game pack with time. Yeah, but I remember the song, we jump in now, Oh, I am getting really tired now. I want to get this lined at least, so that I at least feel like I've done something. <laughs> I want to feel like I've done something. I thought I'd make half ten, so... I've been pretty consistently going to bed for 12 a.m. lately. Actually, it's mostly been before 10 that I've been going to sleep lately. Cause I, I like hard reset. I like factory reset myself uh, by accident um, because I got so tired um, that I like actually fatigued myself. I legit fatigued myself to the point um, of nausea. And I, I went to bed like early because I was so tired and I hadn't slept the night before. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to bed early. And that factory reset everything. Which that was like, that was the point. That was why I stayed up. Like, it was to reset. Except to reset too well. <laughs> and that was really difficult for me to stay up. Like, past nine. Like, it was- I stretched it out a little bit, like, by the- clearly by the fact that I'm awake right now, <laughs> but like, I'm tired. I'm tired. Which is very different from when I was uh, going to bed at 
at least 4 a.m. if not later. <laughs> Most nights. <laughs> um, like, the sucky thing is, like, my technically um, something I realize is my default, my default circadian rhythm. Apparently, for some reason, is nocturnal, just by default. And apparently it's been that way since I was a baby, <laughs> where my mom had to like hard force me into daytime sleeping patterns and somehow managed to keep me that way until I was a teenager <laughs> and refused to go to bed and kept, and especially once I left home and started just doing my own thing and not having a set bedtime or having to conform to other people. <laughs> then my sleep schedule got completely wild. And then I moved into a flat, like, out of dorms, and it got even worse with the uh, pandemic stuff. So, I mean, I think for a lot of people, a lot of people's sleep schedules got really fucked up when the uh, lockdowns first started. I think a lot of the people got like, really fucked up. Um, I was already fucked up. I got even more fucked up with it um, in terms of my sleep schedule. It's like before that, I, I would like mostly go to bed before 2 a.m. Mostly, like sometimes I would stay up later, but like I wouldn't stay up past 4 a.m most nights, unless it was like, I was specifically needing to pull an all-nighter to get university work done, like, unless that was the case, like, I wouldn't stay up. Um, like, I'd go to bed usually before 3 at the latest. So it was like, at the time, like, I would end up having like a panic attack if I was awake past 4. And like, also because before pandemic and stuff, like, um, I was having to wake up at, like, 6am to go to uni physically, which feels so weird saying that. <laughs> um, because I, I never got to actually finish my first year properly, because we got cut off by the pandemic, so <laughs> we never actually finished, like, our final projects, um, we just got cut off, and we were like, okay, well, Guess that's the end of foundation year. Cool. Um, what do we do now? And they're just like nothing. Like you, you've finished your year now. You're good. Like you're done. That's it. You, you will mark what stuff you did have. Mark based off of what we saw. And just fucking like, go, I guess. It was like, okay, I guess. Great. <laughs> um, so that was uh, how that was going. <laughs> I think this might actually still be Gen 2. I think this might be. I don't know. Specifically. Finally, just registered, like, oh wait, <laughs> we're in Lavender Town again? But, like, better? Unless we just went to Gen 4. Maybe it's Gen 1. Oh, maybe. Maybe it is, actually. I forgot those were a thing, to be honest. I never played them, so. <laughs> maybe it is. That might actually be it. Anything with Kanto just becomes a confusing mess. <laughs> How many times have we gone back to Kanto at this point? I fucking unwanted Gen 5 to be back. I should have just gone for Gen 5 to be able to fit on the loop. I don't know, I'm just cycling through like all of the general like town themes and like cool, I'll just go through all of them. I don't want to open it to skip to anything. It's like, oh, the 
it be nice to hear each other play music again. It's been a while. From Platinum was my first game. It's the backtracking shows. Oh, the remake, the remake, the remake. <laughs> the remake, that remake, this remake. The remake of the remake. Still came over here again. Oh, my throat hurts. Why do my throat hurt? Why do your throat hurt? My ribs kind of hurt as well, but I refuse to take any painkillers for it. Um, cause I mentioned it on Twitter, but I'm, I'm giving blood on Wednesday. Cause I've been cleared to give blood since November. Um, ah. <laughs> okay. I've been cleared to give blood since November. But, um, like at the time I had deadlines, like, two weeks from now. Cause it was like the end of November. It was like, I think I was cleared on like the 28th of November, like something specific like that. It was around then. Where I was like, okay, you're good to give blood again. Cool. Um, and I was like, I meant to make an appointment then. Um, <laughs> but I had a point. I, I had to. I had deadlines. Like, I had like a deadline on. I I had one on the 17th of December. So that was like the. One. I had one on the 14th, I think, and one on the 17th. It was something like that. But I was also, like, I was going home on the 11th, and I was, I had to do, like, I, ha I had to do the fucking, um, what's it called? The lateral flow testing. I had to do two of those in the week up to that, and I was having to do all of my work to try and get it done in time, like, for deadlines, so I just never ended up having time. And then I just completely forgot about it until a few days ago where I was like, oh shit, I haven't given blood in a while. <laughs> it's been, like, quite a while. <laughs> it's just been a while. <laughs> so when was the last time I gave blood? I don't remember. What? Is it four months? I think it's four months that's like between giving blood. So I, I could have given blood around then and then <laughs> given blood again now, I'm pretty sure. Or like pretty soon now. Like, I could have done that. <laughs> Yeah, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I like to give blood. I don't have the most useful blood type, though. My, um, plasma is universal, but my, um, my normal blood is not. It is actually the complete opposite of universal, um, because I am AB negative. So if you don't know, um, AB negative blood type, um, I can receive any blood type, um, so like, AB negative guy, good to know, yeah, fun fact, yeah, I have a rare blood type, look at that, look at me go, second rarest, at least in my country, anyway, <laughs> I have a rare blood type, look at me, it's kind of useless, <laughs> um, no, it's not useless, um, because they prefer giving um, same blood types, same blood types, because it avoids most, it avoids most problems. <laughs> um, how these blood is a lot of It is. Um, especially because, um, yeah, so I, I can receive any blood type, um, without any issue. Um, I'm a universal receiver. <laughs> I am not, however, a universal donor, because AB negative blood types can only be received by other AB negative blood types. <laughs> um, my plasma! Um, AB negative plasma is universal. Let me just selfish it. Not even. <laughs> yeah, like... I, I simply cannot be killed by giving me the wrong blood type. Like, well, I mean, I'm sure there's a way, but... <laughs> like, I my body isn't gonna reject it. <laughs> 
um, <coughs> inherently based on blood type. Um, but yeah, my my plasma is universal. That's like the main reason why I like to donate. Like I I. I mean, I've only been able to donate for a few years, but like, I like to do it when I'm able to, you know? Because I, I don't know, I, needles don't bother me, like, the process doesn't annoy me. I mean, it, it does, like, I do usually have to set out, like, my entire day for it, just because, um, I don't get, like, any super bad side effects from it, but, um, what I do get is, like, my entire body becomes too weak to climb up stairs properly, which is gonna be fun, because... I live on the second floor, so <laughs> fun. Um, like, like I, I don't get like sick or anything, but I just become too tired to do anything like super productive afterwards. Um, like that's just me for the day, <laughs> um, and because it takes a while as well. Um, like, well, it doesn't take super long, but like it, it takes like a good couple of hours out of your day to do it. You know, um, you're sitting there for a while, I mean, especially now with um, COVID, like, all the precautions make it a lot slower than it was before, <laughs> uh, where you could be over and done with within, like, an hour. Now it's just a little bit longer, just because you're waiting quite a lot longer, because there's less space. Um, I actually need to figure out where the fuck I need to actually go because I've made my appointment, but I, I know like generally whereabouts the center is because um, the thing they did in, in uh, Scotland was um, they they changed the uh, blood centers to different places than usual um, for the pandemic um, to accommodate. So normally. Normally, um, like, I've given blood in the city before, before the pandemic. Um, I haven't done it post-pandemic here. Um, I've done it during the pandemic, uh, in Edinburgh, but not in this city. Um, like, before it was, um, well, actually, technically, when I went the first time, it was actually when COVID was, like, just popping up. Like, it, it was before lockdown, it was pre-lockdown, um, but, like, before it had really gotten here. Like, there were, there was, like, I think there was something like four cases at the time. So, like, even the nurses were like, yeah, it's not that bad, it's like the flu. <laughs> um, which is obviously not true now. Um, we know better now. Like, at the time, this was, like, when it was still just starting, so, like, it wasn't, like, there wasn't any big precautions in place, like, we weren't wearing masks, like, it was just where it was, you know. We live and learn, yep. <laughs> we certainly kind of learned. Some people learned, some people did not, apparently. Those people were unlikely to anyway, most likely. Um, like, these were nurses, so, I mean, at the time of still being reported, like, ah, yes, yeah, it's just, like, the flu. like. It's fine. And then everything went to shit like two days later. No, I, I think it was actually like a week after or something um, where like they started closing stuff and we're like, we kind of realized um, when it, it, it only really set in when the university started closing stuff and was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> um, just like, oh. This is about to become something new. <laughs> cool. Um. Oh. Oh no. I feel like... Yeah, it was literally like, we... Because up, up until then, like, we had been talking about it in class. Like, I, I distinctly remember. Um. So we were doing, like, um, pre-assessment course animation stuff. Pre-assessment course. Pre-animation course assess animation stuff. So we were just trying it out, basically. We had like a four week project, and we ended up cutting the four week project off after the first week because of uh, pandemic closures. <laughs> it's just when they made us work out the window from the job I worked at, you know. We, we kind of realized it, um, because they, they decided like, oh yeah, we're gonna um, close early on Friday to do a deep cleaning. So like, 
Yeah, we're gonna do that. But it's probably fine. Don't worry too much. And then over the weekend, they closed the entire university. And we're like... Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this... This is worse than we thought. Cause like, well, in Scotland, like, we got cases, like, a bit later. So, like, it started... I think... I think uh, stuff started closing when, like, England was starting to have issues, and we were like, oh dear. <laughs> this is maybe a bit more serious than we thought it was at first. Hmm, we should probably do something. We should probably try and preemptively stop stuff. Um, like, Scotland's been, like, doing better in general um, than England for most- for all of it, actually. Um, the entire pandemic. Although, we've had spikes. We've definitely had spikes and we could be doing a lot better, but... Yeah. Like, we've been generally doing better than England, at the very least. Um, you know, I, I like to um, maybe hold that little bit of pride in my heart. Um, just a little bit. It's like, at least we're not England. <laughs> England didn't do shit <laughs> until it was too late. Scotland at least started locking down when there was like, I think it was something like 16 people got infected in Scotland and they were like, okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um. But yeah. But yeah, so like, yeah, the last time I gave bloods here, I mean, I've given blood since um, in Edinburgh, but like I said, um, but <laughs> the last time I gave blood here, actually, was before the pandemic really, really hit. Like, when it was just starting out. Because I remember having a conversation with the nurses about it, just being like, yeah, I mean, uh, da -da -da, hopefully. Oh, I'm so hopeful. I'm so hopeful. Oh, God. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I gave blood. That would have been in early March? When did we lock down? I think we officially locked down on like the 21st of March. I wrote the first shot yesterday and my arm is still to them. I mean, I, I've heard um, quite a lot of people having issues with it. Um, here in Scotland, they're, they're doing it by age and priority. So I'm not going to be getting it for a while. I'd like to get it. <laughs> well, I don't... I'm not excited to get it, but like, I want to get it just so like, I have that little bit of security, you know? I, like, <laughs> but I'm not going to get it for a while. Um, like, I know that. I'm probably not going to get it until <sighs> at least late May, if not earlier, probably, or later even. It, there's, they have goals. They have goals for when they're gonna do it, but I don't think they're gonna quite make the goals because they've been a bit imperfect about who gets the letters for it. Both my parents have gotten their first shots. Um, apparently, my dad had like little to no reaction to it. My mom had a bit more of an issue with it, but it still wasn't as bad as it could have been. Apparently. For her, but um, she couldn't sleep like the the night that she got it, so that was probably like a good chunk of her problem. Um, they were doing seniors and first responders, so then they just said ever anyone over sixteen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They haven't done that here. They've been doing it by um letter, so I I have no idea when I'm gonna get it. I know I'm in like the last group. Or one of the last groups, even. I don't think I'm like the last last group, actually. I don't remember what the exact age groups are, but like, evidently I'm in the like 18 to probably 20 something. 18 to 30, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what the exact groups are. Um, let me just look this up. 
back. Let me just see. Although they did um, start the rollout of the Moderna vaccine the other day um, here, so that, that might speed things up a bit, maybe. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, so like, I'm uh, not in any of the priority groups. Um, like, as as far as um priority goes, like I'm I'm not in one of them. Um, I mean I have like health stuff, I guess, but they're not like anything that puts me into priority. <laughs> Um, it's so like the current people that they're vaccinating are residents in a care home for all their adults and their carers, frontline health and social care workers, politically extremely valued, vulnerable individuals, everyone aged 50 and over, which both my parents are, um, those aged 16 to 64 with underlying health problems, which put them at higher risk of serious disease and mortality, all adults with a learning disability, mild, moderate, moderate severe, and profound. Unpaid care is age 16 to 24. I am none of those things, so I am not. <laughs> um, adults experiencing homelessness and rough sleeping may also now be invited. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm not in the groups. <laughs> um, but interesting, they have it on this um, website here that's like, people age 16 and 17 will normally be offered the Pfizer slash BioNTech vaccine, which I'm pretty sure like they were discussing like, hmm, maybe we shouldn't give the specific group these ones specifically. But I don't know, I haven't been paying attention too much. Um <sighs> Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> I won't get it for a while. Um <laughs> This is Gen 4 music. I know this is Gen 4 music, just in my gut. This is definitely Gen 4. This screams Gen 4. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see how the dates. Where are the dates? Uh, Gen 4 remakes, let's go! I don't. I actually don't know how I feel about them. <laughs> uh, parts of me kind of didn't want them just because I already view Gen 4 as like pretty perfect as is. Like, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the remakes in general. Um, the, the older games, like the initial remakes, like Fire Red and Leaf Green, like that was fine. Heart Gold and Soul Silver, that was fine. Um, but when we got to like the 3D stuff, I don't know. Like, once it got to Gen 3, I was like, I don't feel the need for there to be remakes for these ones. Because, like, um, with Jojo and Kato, like, the original games, like, they weren't in proper color yet, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, and they're very, very outdated. But Gen 3 and up have, like, full color and everything. Like... And arguably, like, the pixel art is still perfectly up to scratch, you know, with just general pixel art games. Like, pixel art games are still around. <laughs> like, I'm like, to be fair, you can't officially get the OG Gen and Phone games in there. Yeah, but, like, you, you can just... I mean, here's the thing, though. They've been re-releasing, like, the older games as... Fucking like digital copies anyway. Like they did that for most of the games before the DS era. Like those were all in the eShop e for the 3DS, albeit like they'll be dying out now. But like they could easily do that for the Switch as well. Like they they have like the virtual console on the Switch. Like they could easily do that. <laughs> Like, I, I don't know, I think it's just like, I don't know, because I, I started playing, um, my first game was Platinum, um, I started playing with Platinum, um, not when it came out, I don't actually know 
I was seven when I started playing. Um, but I don't know exactly. I don't exactly know when <laughs> the, the fourth gen games actually came out, but it wouldn't be long before that. I think they were still like pretty new around then. At least class on was anyway, I don't know. Might be like a year old or something. Well, studio, so I can hack in and play all the games I missed out on, but they're so expensive now. I don't know. Why are they? Mm. I don't know. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I um, had a DS Lite and I got a 3DS like a cup, a year or two after they released. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I still have it um, as well. Oh, yeah, I haven't touched a lot recently. I still have my old 3DS, but I lost my charger. Sag. Yeah. I thought I lost my charger, but I didn't actually. <laughs> um, I think I found it. Yeah, I think I found it in my suitcase. I was like, oh, that's where I put it. Okay. <laughs> we good. Maybe Pawn Shops would have them cheap. Probably. Um, probably. Hmm. I mean, it's well past the point that, like, scalpers would have them. No, I mean, they're, they're not being made anymore. They weren't- it's not like they- they were, like, active consoles for quite a few years, so it's not like there would have been, like, small production numbers. They won't die out enough for them to actually, like, become expensive even secondhand. <laughs> You know, like, first hand maybe, but like, like brand new maybe, like, a bit more expensive, but I just realized I haven't actually touched drawing in a while. <laughs> I've, I've just been talking. Um. <coughs> but, uh, like, second hand, like, it's, they'll probably be pretty cheap. <laughs> um. Especially, like, compared to modern day consoles, you know? I, I don't think you'd have too much of an issue finding one, like, I don't know, pay price that isn't completely dying. <laughs> you know, um... So I'm sure quite a few people probably started, um, getting rid of them when the like game production started slowing down a bit. Because I mean, once the Switch came out, like a lot, like there weren't a lot of new DS games after that, or 3DS games even. Like I'm sure quite a lot of people probably sold them around then. There's probably quite a lot still floating around. So, like, yeah, I really doubt you have much of an issue finding one. <laughs> Second hand at the very least. Yeah, they said that Walmart was selling 3DS and 2DS for like a hundred dollars last year just to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. To be fair, like that's not what was the original price? Because I remember thinking, like, at least in my head, that around when the original DS released, it was like a hundred bucks or something like that. It was something like that. Um, just at least in my head, like that was like the normal price to think of it as. I don't know if that was the actual price, <laughs> to be honest, because I was fucking seven. <laughs> um, God knows. Um, but like, they were never like super expensive compared to consoles, I don't think. I mean, oh, just looking at like the used ones. Here we go to what? Oh, okay. 
Yeah, like looking looking at the um, original DS on at on not Etsy eBay, like you can get them for fucking twenty quid. Like, <laughs> I mean that's the original DS, not three DS, but. Super expensive for game consoles. They were 250 at release. Um, 3DSs. I mean, um, so I mean, they were never that expensive. I'm mean, not cheap, but like for a games console, like a handheld one, and for one that has such a long lifespan as well, like it's not half bad. <laughs> Super dry, and my throat is dying a little bit. Also, nearly 11 p.m. Damn. I do want to get this at least line, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'd like to say I have fond memories of uh, Pokemon Platinum as a child, but I don't remember shit. <laughs> I need to replay them. <laughs> I mean, I've started replaying them um, a few times over, but then, like, I never get super far on them. But I have been thinking of, um... I have been thinking about doing, like, a Nuzlocke, because I've never played a Nuzlocke. And I know Gen 4 is a really difficult one to start with, and just in general. I know, like, Gen 4 is a really difficult game to Nuzlocke. I mean... It was a fucking miracle I beat that game in the first place as an eight year old. Nine year old? I don't know, I don't remember how long it took me to beat it. I was very slow at games at the time. <laughs> so it's probably a good couple of years. Um. Because I remember. Um. I've since reset it like a couple of times. Um, to just play. Well, like, I remember. I looked at my original save file and I looked at the team I had and this being like my fully main team <laughs> I remember I looked at the Pokemon I had in my team and I was just completely amazed that I even fucking managed to be Cynthia Jesus Christ because <laughs> what I found <coughs> what I found was my Infernape, my starter Pokemon, was level 100, right? Perfectly reasonable for someone who's done like the post game content and stuff. No? Okay. They've maxed out that level. They, they've maxed out that Pokemon. How are their other Pokemon? I think I had one in like the level 50s. I think it was. And Empoleon, I think, was the one that I had in the level 50s. Maybe 60s. Maybe a little higher? I don't- I don't fully remember. And then, I looked at the rest of the team. It was like, okay. I mean, kinda weird for it to be that low at this point. But okay. Sure. Okay. What about the other Pokemon? Like, this being the same team I would have beaten the Elite Four with. Because I would not have changed the team after that. Like, I was pretty set in my ways. So I looked at the rest of the team. And they were all still in level 30s. What? <laughs> how? How? No wonder I had so much issue with Cynthia. I mean, Cynthia's hard as it is. Like, Cynthia is pretty fucking infamous for being the most difficult Pokemon champion. Because her team is just fucking ridiculous. How on earth? <laughs> what bullshittery did I pull as a nine year old? <laughs> I'm like slowly increasing the age because I know it took me like a good couple of years to beat the game. I know I got to when I was seven, but. <laughs> Like, I, it would have taken me a while to beat it. What bullshittery did I pull? 
as a fucking nine-year-old to be Cynthia with that fucking team. And that is the reason why I, I feel like I could maybe be <laughs> a Nuzlocke. Maybe <laughs> Gen 4. Or I could at least attempt it. <laughs> Cause I pulled that bullshit somehow. <laughs> oh yeah, I know f I know full well it definitely took. Probably a good hundred attempts. I put, it might have actually been far less than that, but it felt like I spent a hundred attempts on it at the time. In my impatient little monkey brain. <laughs> I don't know. If I had the stubbornness to, <laughs> to fucking beat Cynthia of all... Of, to, to beat that Pokemon, just in general. So I remember a lot of the time I wouldn't even get to Cynthia. Like I'd be beaten like the seven only the second only four member. Like the ground type one. God, I don't remember her name. I don't think I want to. Um like, it's a fucking miracle I beat that game. What the fuck? What the fuck? Like I'm pretty sure I've wiped it since then. I think I started it over and then I didn't get very far in it. Like a couple of years ago, I don't know. Like, I want to play through it on stream. Maybe doing a Nuzlocke. I'm not entirely sure on that. But I kind of want to do a Nuzlocke. Like, I know the likelihood of me beating it is low. Why am I using that brush? What? Or, I mean, I feel like most of the game I'd be fine with, like, I could do that. I'd probably have to plan ahead, which I mean, I think you mostly have to do in the blocks anyway. Because <laughs> otherwise you will die. Um... <coughs> I'm very torn on if I want to just play it normally or if I want to do my first ever Nuzlocke on fucking Pokemon Platinum of all games. <laughs> Or if I should maybe set my sights on um, something just maybe, maybe not easy, but like, you know, not gonna beat my ass with my own leg, you know? <laughs> not, not gonna kick- a game that's not gonna kick my ass with my own leg. I need to actually go back and finish most of the Pokemon games a lot because I never finished them. I haven't um, been finishing the last few years of them properly. I mean, I finished um, Shield. I haven't done the DLC. <laughs> well, I haven't done um, the second DC DLC. I've done a bit of it. I did a bit of it on stream and I never touched it off, of st off stream. <laughs> and I never did another stream of it. Should probably do that. But I mean, I, I was just, I don't know, it's DLC, who cares. Um, but I didn't finish like the main game. Um, I think I've only finished Third and One as it's far as I know. Oof. Of all the games to finish, why those two? <laughs> Just why those two in particular? Well, I I remember I was so excited um, for X and Y, like I was keeping up sort of for stream. Well, ah, <laughs> that would do, I guess. But, um, like, I remember I was so excited, and Y was the only game I had at the time. <laughs> Uh, I was so excited for X and Y. I was keeping up with the news literally every morning. I was in my first year of high school when X and Y came out, right? I don't remember. I was so excited for the games. Like, it was like the, these were the first 3D games in the series. Like, they were first games on 3DS specifically. Like, oh my god, and like, we've got customizations. Like, oh my god. And I was keeping up with all the leaks that came out, it's like, I was so excited, I was seeing like the Pokemon list, and I was like, oh, these Pokemon designs are so cool! And then the games came out. I was so disappointed. It, genuinely, those games were the first time I ever feel, felt so much disappointment in a game. So I was just sitting there, like, after I finished it, like, 
but that's it. That's, that's it. Where's what? Where's where's the good shit? I think a lot of people did. Yeah, it was, it was heartbreaking, man. <laughs> like, like I still feel it now. It's it just hurt. It hurt so bad because it, it was the first time. I feel like a Pokemon game had been arguably pretty bad. Like, everything, all the games before it are like. Some people, like, might not like them as much, like, as others, but, like, all of them, all of the ones up until 5th gen started. Not 5th gen, 6th gen. All of the ones before 6th gen started could be argued to be, like, great. You know, like, all of them could be argued to have be like a contender for best in the series every single one of them but then fifth king fifth gen came out it was just like what the fuck is this what happened what like it just i think the worst part of it is there was so much potential there was so much potential in sixth gen it's, i keep saying fifth gen is sixth gen i mean i don't know why i keep saying fifth gen sixth gen x and y like there was so much potential for them. There's so much potential. I just I don't know what happens. I don't I don't understand. Just like like it was the first time we had had like a gimmick, you know. Well we'd had gimmicks, but like it was the first time we'd had something like mech evolution. Like we'd had gimmicks like um like the I mean every game has had a gimmick. But, like most of the, the games before 6th gen, I mean, they, they, like, they were gimmicks, but like, they weren't, they were carried forward in some way, usually. Except for 5th gen, like, I really wish they'd bring those gimmicks back, because I like, I like the different, I like the triple battles and rotation battles, they're really cool. <laughs> Bring them back, Game Freak. Bring them back, goddammit. <laughs> they were so cool. Um, like, you know, it was like, it was the first time we'd had something like Mega Evolution. Show battles were something. They were, they were so cool. Like, it, it was just neat. Like, rotation battles were neat because you'd like, you'd like move your Pokemon around as well. You'd like shift them. I don't know. I don't know why they didn't bring them back either. Cause I, uh -huh. I don't think many people had issues with them. I mean, they didn't come up that often. Like they were just like little gimmick things, and a lot, most of them were like optional. I don't know. Anyway, um, with X and Y, like yeah, it was the first time we'd had a gimmick like Mega Evolution where it was like just in the main battles. And we also had sky battles, but I... Sky battles are the reason why the some of the Pokemon animations suck <laughs> in the 3D games. Like, they are the reason. Um, because they, they didn't want to make extra animation assets for... Oh, look at that, we're at, um, our Golden Soul Silver. Look at that. Um, they. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Because what happened was with the Sky Battles in um, X and Y, like, they had to have any Pokemon that could fly had to be animated for that. And so. They didn't. They didn't want to have multiple animations. Like they didn't want to like have to deal with that shit. It's like okay, fair enough. But then it bled into the games after it. Like after there weren't even any sky battles anymore. It was like, um, are, are, are you gonna let them? Yeah, they were janking away. Oh yeah. Like I don't. Huh? 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 Like. I don't think after X and Y they even had sky battles in any of the games. I mean, I know they didn't have them in 
on, as far as I can remember, they didn't have them in Gen 7. I'm pretty sure they didn't have them in Oras either. I don't think so, anyway. I don't remember them being in there. I might just be misremembering though, because I don't know. I don't fucking remember. Um. Yeah, so like they they had to just they just kept them flying for like even the ground battles. But then they never fixed it. It was like I don't, I don't get, understand why they haven't fixed it because like everyone's fucking complaining. And like when they made new like new flying Pokemon, they kept it that way. I was like, but why the why do they have to keep flying? Let them land, Game Freak! Let, let, let them land! Jeez! Um... <laughs> yeah, they keep on adding instead of fixing things. Yeah, it's just like... Mm. Um... Yeah, animations aside, like, I can forgive... I can forgive the animations. I mean, they suck, but like... Okay, whatever. Like, I, I can... I can deal with it, you know? I mean, I, I dealt with several games of there not being any animations at all. Whatever, okay, sure. But yeah, like, with X and Y, I don't know. The story was just... Here's the thing, I can't even remember what the story was. I cannot remember what, like, Team Flyer's goal was. I can remember... Literally every other Pokemon organization except for Team Flare. I cannot for the life of me remember what the fuck they were even trying to do. I think they were trying to end the world, but I don't remember why or what the fuck they were doing to that. I just remember there being a big laser flower thing. <laughs> and then there was like the fucking... How long, how long was it? There was like the big war thing, and there's like that story about like a Pokemon who died, and that was so cool, that was like so cool. That was like such a nice bit of war, and then they did absolutely fuck it. They did fuck all of it. <laughs> I'm getting like genuinely pissed off, so <laughs> like, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's so frustrating. It's like, that has so much potential. There was so much there. Like, they were moving to 3D for the first time, it was like, yeah, the 3DS was limited, but like, they could do so much more. I was just like, what the fuck? Just what? What? <laughs> I don't. <sighs> I don't know, man. It's, just... it's so frustrating to me. And like, even the games after that, like, I haven't felt that disappointed since that game. I'm sorry I started this on this road. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I've been holding these feelings in for a while. <laughs> um, I don't know. I get very passionate about things I like and, um, and things I dislike. <laughs> Evidently. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. The thing is, like, even the Pokemon games after that, like, I haven't felt the same disappointment since. Like, I mean, sure, there have been, like, stuff I haven't enjoyed as much as, like, the old games. This has been like, okay, cool. I mean, this is here. Like, even Sword and Shield, like, I didn't hate that much. It's handholdy. I don't like that part. It, like, it's super handholdy. But, I mean, while I was playing, I barely noticed, because it was just like, whatever, okay, I'm just playing through it. Like, there's issues I have with, like, all the games afterwards, and there's issues I have with the old games, too. But, like, there's more so with the newer ones. But, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't felt the same disappointment. I think X and Y was genuinely the only time I've ever felt that disappointed, actually. Because, like, the other ones, like, I mean, after that I've always kept, like, a more realistic expectation, you know? Like, I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. Okay, I'm just gonna wait and see what it is. So I haven't been like so hyped up and then just disappointed, you know? Like, I'll just accept like what what is there that's good and what isn't. Like, you know? Like, I'll accept a lot more easily, but just something about X and Y. Just 
that one hurt. That that one just hurt. I'm like, I've started the game like a couple of times, but it doesn't it doesn't get any better. Like even past the disappointment, like there's just not much there. <laughs> I don't remember any of the characters at all. Which sucks. It's like Um the 15 games, like, the characters are fucking memorable. Like, I remember some of the gym leaders, like, I fucking, I, I really like the rivals in Gen 5, actually. Um, a lot of people don't like the friendly rivals. I actually don't have an issue with friendly rivals. Um, I, I just, if they're fun, and if I can actually remember them, <laughs> that's my standard at this point, if I can remember them, <laughs> like, how I... I'm fine with how. Like, it's not the best rival, but like, I could enjoy him at least. I liked his theme. His theme was really good. Uh, Lily. Lily's cute. Yeah, friendly rivals are good. Yeah, like, a lot of people dislike them. That's fine, but like, I, I don't have an issue with them. I, I just want all the rivals to actually have a personality. You know? I mean, or at least a personality trait, at the very least, if I get to fucking remember. <laughs> like, that much is nice. Anne, um, I mean, fucking Anne's one of the most popular characters for a reason, you know? <laughs> There's a reason Anne is so popular. And it's not just because he's quote unquote attractive. <laughs> Like, it's not just because of that, but, like, people enjoy his character, you know? Um, Bianca, I, f I thought was cute. I thought, uh, Bianca and Sharon. Um, Sharon? I don't actually know how to say their names. I thought they were cute. I, I really enjoyed them. Um, the fifth gen. I, I liked, I found it really cool seeing them progress in, um, Black and White 2, where, like, Sharon's a gym leader now, and Bianca's helping the professor. Like, that was cool. I liked that. Um, third gen, like, Wally was cute. You know, not the most exciting thing, but like, he was trying his best. Like, you, like, you root for him, you know? <laughs> um, Barry, annoying, but like, I still, I mean, he was my, he was the first rival I had. Like, I, I can't not holds somewhere deep in my heart for him, okay? <laughs> he might be, like, arguably quite annoying, and he's just hyperactive, he's a squirrel, but, like, he has a personality. You know, he's a, a very clear personality, at the very least. A good boy, yes. Like, yeah, like, Barry has a fucking personality, at the very least. Um, how, I mean, how, yeah, again, like, doesn't, not the most exciting rival, but like, you know, at least, like, you remember him, at least. <laughs> um, God, um, and evidently, uh, people enjoyed, um, the rivals for Sword of Shield, um, Marnie and, uh, Bede. I forgot there for a second. People evidently enjoyed them, um, because they were less friendly. Um, I mean, they were fine. They were there. They sure did exist. Oh, and there was also, um, what's his name? <laughs> I'm blanking on him right now. Um, Hop. I mean, he was hand holy. He kind of, I don't know. I mean, he wasn't the worst, but... I mean, he was meh. But, like, Marty and Beidou, like, they were pretty okay. Like, they had personalities, at least. <laughs> Beidou definitely had a personality. <laughs> um, you know. Hop is a mid-tier character. Yeah. Hop and... Hop and Hal, like, they're... They're not the best, but, like... Yeah, they're not horrendous. Hop is maybe a bit worse than Hal just because he's a little bit annoying but like you know they're, they're not terrible it could be worse. The fucking 
to the gym. I just went to the gym. Six down. I don't know why I keep thinking that. I'm really tired. Like, I, I don't even remember fucking names. I remember Shauna. That's the only name I remember. It was in like TJ, T, TD? I don't even know. There was one that was like initials. And I don't remember any of the other ones. Like, I don't remember anything about any of them. I remember one of them like danced, and that was the one that was like the initials one, but I don't fucking remember. Like, I don't remember his name. That's, that's how bad it was. Like, I don't remember their names. I can remember everyone else's name, but just not them specifically. Like, I, just, I can't even. I, f I feel like that's the same for a lot of people. It's not just my memory being shit. Like, just people do not remember them at all. I, like, when I think about Gen, S Gen 6, they don't even come to mind. <laughs> Other things to Gen 6, like, yeah, the, it was like, I don't remember what the plot was, it was just so generic. Um, there, there was, like, they had some... It's so frustrating, um, with Gen 6, because, like, they had some really good story things that came up. They had good lore. Like, again, the, the whole thing with the war, and, like, the Pokemon died, and, like, um... What's his name? Like Z? Like, you're right though, I can't remember any of them. Exactly, like, you just. I remember Shauna, and that's just because it's a normal name. <laughs> uh, here's the thing I played I played a little bit of the beginning of it recently. I played a little bit of it like two weeks ago, and I cannot remember their names. <laughs> Albeit, I was playing in Italian, so I mean, I was like, kind of just glass-eyed the entire time but like <laughs> like they were, their names are the same like they don't change in Italian they're the same names yeah I cannot remember them <laughs> I played it two weeks ago two or three weeks ago and I do not remember their names that's how awful it is <laughs> um um, please. Um, yeah, like, the whole, like, the lore for X and Y is, is such a good start, but they don't do anything with it. They don't do anything with it. Like, Z pops up, like, a couple of times, and then just nothing happens. Like, he doesn't do anything. It's such a shame, because there's, like, there's so much that could, it could have got so well. Like, it could have been so good. Like... Uh, so I, I think, I feel like... People can look over the graphics. People can look over graphics. People can overlook animations not being perfect. Like, people can overlook that stuff, you know? If the game is good enough, like, they're not gonna care. But, like, when there's so many problems with the game, like, when it's so unmemorable that you can't think of anything except for how lifeless the animations were. Like, when people start nitpicking that shit, because, I mean, the animations are technically good. When people start nitpicking them for just not being energetic enough, you have a problem. That you have a problem at that point. There is something wrong with your game. <laughs> like, if people can't remember anything else to criticize because, it, like, it's not even good enough to remember the plot. <laughs> you have a problem. Excuse me. I can remember the plots for games that are older than that. Like, I might not be able to remember the exact details of like Gen 4 and stuff, but I can remember like the vague plot, you know? Like, I can remember what Team Plasma were trying to do. You know? 
I can remember what the team is called. I- I forgot what Team Flare was called for the longest time. I only remembered recently what they were called. And I'm pretty sure it was because I looked them up. <laughs> and like, like I'm, I make jokes of like referencing what all the teams are supposed to be, but I can't think of anything for Team Flare. Because I genuinely cannot remember what the fuck they were even trying to accomplish. It just wasn't shit there. Like, Team Rocket, like, they're basically just the Mafia, right? Like, Team Rocket is the Mafia. They're ridiculous, but they're the Mafia. <laughs> they're the Pokemon Mafia. <laughs> Team Flare and Team Aqua, they're basically just very, very extreme climate change enthusiasts. And, like, you know, like, those fucking world end cults? Like, that's what they are. They're world end cults. <laughs> um, I, I'm actually trying to think of what to compare Team Plasma to in the first place. Um, like, Team Plasma are just like, they're scientists that got a little bit too hyped about interdimensional shit. <laughs> They got a little bit too hyped up about time and space, and now they kind of just want to take that power for themselves. You know? Team Plasma is pizza. Like, that's, uh, that's all I have to say. Team Plasma is fucking pizza. <laughs> pizza, but like slightly more cultish. But still just pizza. <laughs> Team Flare. What the fuck were Team Flare trying to do? Were they just in like another world angle? I genuinely do not remember what their end goal was. I remember them destroying parts of Kalos. That's it. That's all I remember. I also remember them being kind of fashionable. Again, that's all I remember. I don't remember. <laughs> um, just don't. There's some shit there. <laughs> Real quick. Um. Mm -mm. Uh, who's after that? I'm really tired. Um. Ether Foundation. I mean, they're basically experimental scientists who tried to make it seem like they were, like, a rescue for Pokemon. Tried their best to give us. Oh, yes, we're on Gen 5 now. Um. Um. Yeah, like, Ace Foundation, like, they're. At least Lucimi was masquerading it anyway. <laughs> um. She got a little bit too hyped up about her science stuff. Um. And, like, they were researching a piece. And Team Skull, like, I mean, they're, they're just. They're just a gang. They're not even that bad, they're just like a little small time gang. They're actually pretty adorable. <laughs> um, mm, um, Gen 8, I mean. The team, quote unquote. Yeah, team skills just fine. Yeah. The, the, the team, quote unquote, is. Like, they're not- they're, they're just excited to evolve. <laughs> That's it. Like, okay. They're not a team. <laughs> you know. Gen Jenny- it, it's not a team. <laughs> it's just not a team. <laughs> it doesn't even count. Like, okay? They're, they're just not. They're not an organization. It's fucking, um, Chairman Road. That's the thing. What was he trying to do, actually? I should know this, I played the game like less than two years ago. I finished it less than two years ago, I should remember what he was actually trying to do. I guess that criticism stands for a uh, Sword and Shield 2, but it was also just like a pinpoint. It, it was like a pinpoint 
in the game, to be honest. Like, it, it wasn't the biggest of deals in that. Um, it just kind of happened. <laughs> so I don't actually remember what he was trying to accomplish. Um, yeah. Gen 19 to be a bunch of kids revolting. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> that would be something. That would be something. Uh, for sure. Yeah. TLDR, X and Y really. X and Y just broke me. It'd be pretty funny. <laughs> it would be. It's not even a team, it's just a bunch of kids. <laughs> You're just a kid beating up other kids, the boss is just three kids in a trench coat. <laughs> oh dear, oh no. <laughs> oh god. <coughs> I don't know, should I color this? I guess I'll color it, it won't take too long to color. <laughs> Yeah, oh. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> X and Y sure did exist. Yeah. If I wasn't super tired, I could probably, like, actually lay out my thoughts on it a little bit better. But I am very, very tired. as soon as I finish coloring. <laughs> oh, I'm big tired. Deep tired. This may be what's big for me. I definitely want to play um, black and white on stream. Um, probably white. I have white. Um, yeah, I, I definitely want to play those games on stream because uh, Gen 5 are, are my favorite games. Um, black and white specifically. I don't actually remember an awful lot from Black and White 2, so I don't think I was like fully paying attention while I was playing it. Um, I want to play this game actually. But, um, I'd want to play Black and White, um, the original games first. I think Black and White specifically, I remember a lot better because, like, they were they were so significant for me. Like, I love Pokemon Platinum. Um, like, it was what got me into the series in the first place, and like, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, like, those are great as well. Like, <laughs> Heart Gold and Soul Silver are, are definitely, like, up there as some of the best games in the entire series. All, all of the 4th gen games are, like, up there. Um, but I personally prefer 5th gen, because I, I was around for, like, a bit of the hype, like, I don't know. This show is what really, really got me into it. Um, fit I could actually probably argue 5th gen- the 5th gen Pokemon games are probably what actually got me into animation, actually. Um, I think I could argue that. I mean, there's a lot of things that got me into wanting to animate, but I think actually I could probably say like, Quite a lot of certainty that, like, Black and White specifically put me on the path to it. Like, they, they made me draw a lot more. I drew so much because of Pokemon Black and White. Oh my god. Like, I, I have a lot to owe Pokemon. Like, here's the thing. Like, I mean, I, I joke about. I'll, I'll joke about, like, um, how much I hate certain games in the series, but, like, I, I can joke about how much, like, disliking Nintendo and all that, but, like, I have to, like, admit, like, I, I can't, I can't pretend that Pokemon didn't, like, actually, like, set me on my life path. <laughs> I can't argue with, I can't argue that in, like, full seriousness, because I'd be lying, like, I, I'd straight up be lying. Um, I started becoming, 
I mean, I, I was an artist before that. I mean, technically. I, I drew before that, like, in Capable of Kitty Gods. But, Pokemon is what got me into character design. It's what got me into drawing just more seriously in general. Um, I mean, before I got really serious anyway. I mean, my, my favorite color is still based on fucking Pokemon. My favorite color is green, pretty obviously. Um, I mean, I like pink too, but like, my favorite color is green. And the reason my favorite color is green is because um, when they first revealed the Gen 5 starters, um, I fell totally in love with Snivy's design. I still absolutely love Snivy. Snivy is my favorite Pokemon. Um, <laughs> <coughs> and I would obsessively, I, I just, I was so obsessed with Snivy. Um, yeah. Hi, Emmy. What's doing? Hi. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you. Hello. Uh, I'm drawing one of my OCs for the first time in a while. I'm probably not going to be on for too much longer just because I'm tired. Um, but I'm talking about Pokemon at the moment. <laughs> um, because I owe a lot of things to Pokemon. I was, um, angry for... I was angry about X and Y for a little while, but now I'm just... Oh, I love my hair. That's funny. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> he has a funky hair. I'll let you see the reference properly. I did this last year, but I, I still use this reference. Just it still works. <laughs> um, I've had this character for a while, but I revamped him like last year or so. And I haven't drawn him in a little while, so felt like drawing him. Um, yeah, rest is important. I've been sleeping a lot earlier recently. Um, I'm actually trying to stretch it a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. He is pretty. He is also unfortunately evil, but... <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's vibing. I can check that way. <laughs> I was supposed to check that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just make sure I had the right color. Um, uh, but my, my brain is like on a million different things at once at the moment. <laughs> um, let's see this, yeah. He's that pretty villain, of course. Um, oh, he's... Um, I'm not gonna spoil like the story of it, but... <laughs> He's a bit of a victim as well. He's a lot of a victim as well, really. He has his reasons for doing his thing. <laughs> um, his thing being harassing the main character for no apparent reason. He does have a reason though. I used to talk a lot more freely about my characters, but I've kind of come to realize, like, hmm, I might want to actually, like, do something with these, so I probably shouldn't be spoiling people. <laughs> That's, like, a bad idea. Evil boy. Evil boy. Yeah, I, I'd get, like, a bunch of the character sheets from this story up, but... Um, Cliff Studio is already slow enough, <laughs> evidently. By how long just getting that transparent layer out of here was. <laughs> yeah, um, I was, um, yeah, I was talking about, like, I owe a lot of the reason why I'm even an artist to Pokemon, um, specifically Gen 5. Like, I owe so much to it. Um, like, I am. Like, I could probably argue that I am an animation student because I got into Pokemon as a kid. And because I loved Pokemon Black and White specifically so much. Like, I could very well argue that. Um, if I had to. Um, so I, I wouldn't have even gotten into anime if it wasn't for Pokemon, actually. Which is what got me into being serious about drawing, so... It all comes back to Pokemon, one way or another. <laughs> I might not be as much of a fan as I once was, but it does still all come back to Pokemon. <laughs> um, so I, I can't fully disown the series. 
also check if this is okay. Um, yeah, this works. Let's go with pink shading. Why not? Let's vibe with this. Go, 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 lark. Okay. Let's go popping in. Yeah, I'm gonna realize there's a stray line there. Stray line that I didn't notice. I promise I'm usually a bit better at keeping track of things when I draw. <laughs> I'm really scatterbrained at the moment. Because I keep going off on tangents. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. My throat is really dry now, actually. How long did I just spend talking about Pokemon? <laughs> Play a good friend, you were trying to say something. Yeah. I've been slowly dragging it out further. Slowly. But I never get tired after like, um, or up to midnight, like that's fine. Like, but, <laughs> like my usual stream time is 33 hours and I don't want to have to call off a stream at fucking 10 p.m. because I just got too tired to keep going. You know? My cough is starting to act up, but I don't I think it's, it's probably because my mouth is dry and I really can't be bothered taking a sip right now. I probably should take a sip of water, but this effort. I don't know if I'm gonna do a background for this or not. Probably not. I mean, I've been doing so many rap sheets lately, I'm just like, I need to do an illustration or an animation or something. Just something. Something a bit more interesting than a rap sheet. Because I like doing rap sheets, but they're, they're pretty dull. You don't... You're just drawing a few things. It's not... Especially when, like, the characters have already been designed, like, just... <laughs> yeah, okay, I need a drink more. Nah. <laughs> I also have no idea what the fuck I'm doing with the lighting of this because I don't have a background. What you should be doing is, uh, at least planning out your background before you're shading. What? <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, hello, hello, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something just tried to clip in real quick. Okay. I feel like I should darken this. Or like. But it's not standing up very well. You got some darker colors, or at least like the redder colors, or just any of the colors that isn't the skin. <laughs> it's not standing out super well. This one? This color, maybe? That seems a bit better, I think. That's a bit better. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, oh. It looks so ridiculous when it's half shaded. <laughs> like, hmm, yes, this pasty white boy is inconsistent lighting. <laughs> How much can works? Possibly, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. This isn't right though. I don't know why it's not right. I can't think right now. Yeah, it's pro 
silly because it's not on the right side. <laughs> Most of the shading is not on the right side. That's probably why. That'll do it. This kind of looks weird still. So. No, that's not the right brush. Ugh, so my face. It's a soft brush sometimes. Try to get rid of some of that. That's a bit better. There we go. That's a little better. Uh, let's fix the lighting on the torso here. Should probably be paying attention to it <laughs> so that I don't have to fix it as I go, but you know, it'd be how it'd be. Don't like, I don't appreciate how laggy. Stuff is being right now. Really not helpful when it comes to shading stuff. Really not helpful. I gotta get a better computer. But I'm poor! <laughs> I am a poor uni student. <laughs> and I need to be able to eat. Okay, the music just went for a second there. Cool. Great. Wonderful. That's a good sign. <laughs> Unfortunately, money does in fact make the world go round. Seemingly, anyway. That caught me off guard. <laughs> My grandma was just like, oh, peaceful. And I'm just like, chill. And then there's this music. <laughs> okay. It's a lot more hyped up. Why am I doing it? <laughs> Is the light coming from again? <laughs> Just noticed that. Oh, so. has to be on the right layer, of course. I mean, if I didn't, if I didn't bother to put my layers into folders, 
to at least semi-organize things, I definitely would have thrown on the wrong layer there. <laughs> Folders is the only bit of organization I actually do. This is my chest hurts. Ah. Still don't want to take painkillers though. I think it's getting burr and stream is like hard. Oof. Oofy oof. I hope it fixes itself. That's frustrating. I don't know why my ribs have decided to suddenly act up again today. Because I've been fine the past few days. The thing. I don't know if it's because I'm just staying upright for like extended periods of time. Maybe it's because earlier today I was like leaning on my chest and stuff. That might not have helped. That's frustrating. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to um, give I think given one a few days, I don't want to take painkillers because one one of the only ones that like actually helps is uh, ibuprofen. Well, it doesn't disqualify you from giving blood. It does affect um, what your blood can be used for in certain patients. And I guess like a week of before. I haven't been using any painkillers like the past few days, so I don't want to just use them today. You know? Like, it won't disqualify my blood or anything, but it will be usable, but I forget what it is that it actually stops your blood from being used for. I think it's platelets, or platelets even, I can never fucking pronounce it. Platelets. It's platelets. That's how you say it. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh... <coughs> yes, your platelets. Yeah, because it's an NSAID, I thought so. Because, um, yeah, ibuprofen is an um, NSAID thing. <laughs> And those thin your blood. So it means that your platelets can be used. Oops. It isn't the worst thing in the world. Like, they can, they'll still accept your blood, but it's like, hmm. Mm. Like, if my blood itself isn't that useful, I'd at least like, like, the other parts of it to be able to be used for people. You know? That's nice. I mean, at least it's not fucking plasma, because it's like the one thing I don't need blood for in the first place. This is definitely hitting a bit. Controls these lagging, so it's I'm doing more than I want it to undo. <laughs>
my brain is like slowly shutting itself off right now. I don't know if it's shading though. basic shading anyway, everything else is pretty easy, it's just the filtering shit. I don't need to use my brain for that, but I do need to use my brain for shading normally. I don't think I'm going to be doing a background for this though. So. I'll just make it transparent, it's cool, it's Gucci. He doesn't need a background. He can just vibe by himself. Not everything needs a background. Sometimes you can just have plain white. <laughs> There's nothing wrong. Sometimes you can just be have it complete. I can think it's a nice background. Cool. If so, anyway. Hopefully. Ah, my brush is lying, it's not helping me. Shading is a delicate maneuver and it's being picky right now. Enough. Let's be honest, this is a low effort anyway. So it's a low effort at best. So who cares? I mean, I've spent what, two and a half hours. Not even that, because I've spent quite a lot of time just speaking and not drawing anything. It's like two hours total working on this, whatever. It's low effort. It's not. It's not gonna be my best work. Uh, mm, that's fine. It's all time you're talking, yet you still do this. Man, I mean, here's the thing. Like, I, <laughs> my brain is off the entire time. <laughs> like that's it. That's it, man. Just, I don't. I don't need to quiet the entire time. I'm actually surprised like by how many people when they do arts when they do art streams like they're completely quiet the entire time. I'm like, no. I don't <laughs> um, No disrespect to them of course. Because obviously some people do put a lot of concentration into their work. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I find like when I'm good at doing something I don't really need to put all of my focus into it. Like, I can do other stuff while I'm doing it. I can talk while I'm doing it. I can listen to other people while doing it. Like, whatever, you know? Like, I'll watch movies and I'll pay more attention to the movie than I will drawing, you know? <laughs> <coughs> I just realized I forgot to shade the band there. Um, like I was actually surprised that like I, I think I think it was Clover's stream. I popped into one of her art streams for a little bit. And I was and she, like she had like her mic off because um, she needed to concentrate on I was like, oh, oh okay. Well I mean, fair enough. But like I was a bit surprised because like I don't pop into art streams that often. I mean but most of the people I have popped into don't don't need to focus like 100% on it, you know? And the same with like other things like um, rhythm games. Like, if I'm good at the rhythm game, like, I don't, I can talk while I'm playing them, you know? Like, I can walk as well. It's awkward, but I can walk while I'm playing them, you know? Um, I like video games, like, 
Yeah, I don't usually get sex scenes unless I know the person. Yeah. Like, cause I, here's the thing, like, I, I view art streams as like, they're basically just, for me, like, for mine anyway, like, they're glorified just chatting streams. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just chatting. Like, I just happen to be working on something in the background. And it's just for fun, it's just cause I want, cause I, I can't sit and do just chatting for several hours. Like, especially if I don't know if there's gonna be people there in the first place. Um, like, I don't know. I'm curious, nice seeing drawing. Yeah. Cause like, with an ice stream, like, I can do like the just chatting part like the entire time if there are people there. But if there's no one there, like, I can still just concentrate on the drawing. Like, no one's gonna expect me to be like super talkative the entire time, you know? Like, even with like chatting and stuff like there's been little moments where like I've needed to concentrate a little bit more like I, where I've just been a bit quieter or I've lost my train of thought and I've been like oh I need to do this you know but, um, yeah I, I mean I think part of it is um I don't know I've, I've been drawing for years now so like it comes very naturally to me um as a thing Uh, I don't need to think too much. The sketch more so, I do need to think a little bit with sketch. Um, I struggle with sketching, because I struggle to get a start. But like, once I'm lining, well, like, once I'm, once I have everything planned out, like, if I already have everything planned out, I'm just going, you know? Like, I am just going into autopilot. I don't need to think about it. You know. So I could just do whatever the hell else while I'm doing it. You know. It's not too difficult. I mean, I've been drawing and chatting to people for years. Like, even before streaming, I was, like, talking to my friends while drawing. Like, I I've been, like, voice controls and drawing while I'm doing it. Like, stuff like that. I'll be talking to, like, family while I'm doing it, you know? Like, it's nothing new. <laughs> um, or I'd be, no oh, I'd be over at a friend's house and sketching while I'm talking to them, you know? Like, <laughs> there's nothing new to it. Um, for me. Ooh. Although, my shaping there is so rough because I was super zoomed out, so I wasn't paying attention fully. Easy, though. See the effects. Whatever. I didn't realize they hadn't zoomed in though. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, like I don't need to concentrate a hundred percent while I'm drawing. Like I half the time while I'm drawing, I'm looking at my other screen rather than the drawing tablet while I'm doing this. You know, I'm like looking at the chat more than I am the drawing a lot of the time. <laughs> um you know, I don't need to one hundred percent of You know, if I'm animating, like, that's another thing entirely. Um, animating does take a bit more concentration, but even that, like, certain things, it'll be a lot easier for me to speak while I'm doing it. Yeah, that's six now. <laughs> the music. Animating seems scary. Uh. I wanna say that it's not, but <laughs> I'd, I'd be lying a little bit. I, I would be uh, lying just a little bit. It's definitely a very different experience to drawing. I, it's, it, it's a lot of pages. Like, I'm not gonna lie and say it's not. Like, it's it's a completely different story to anime over drawing. Um, like, drawing is one thing, animating is something completely different. Like, I would be lying if I didn't say that, you know? If, if I said, like, oh, if you can draw, you can animate, like, I'd be really lying. It's, like, technically you have the skills to if you can draw, you know? 
but it doesn't mean you have the patience to. Um, it doesn't mean you have the knowledge to, because animating has its own skill set. You know, it it's it's its own thing. You, like you can draw, you can be like the best artist in the world, and your animation is gonna be shit. <laughs> Like, it's just cute that stuff like that. Yeah, but there's also like with animating, um, just there's an entirely different key set because stuff like um, keyframing and in betweening, those are skills in and of themselves. Um, like be being able to plan out an animation, like it it's different skills, like. Like, you, you have to learn new things with it. There's a lot of things you have to learn. Like, you, you can be the best artist in the world, you can still be shit at animating. <laughs> That's just how it is. It's like... If you don't understand how animation works, it's not gonna look good. Like, you're, you're not gonna know how to animate it in a way that looks natural. If I dug up like some of my old animations before I learned anything about animation, like they look bad. Like the art is fine, or like well, New Yorker at least. Like it's at least passable, but the animation is bad because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Like I didn't know how to make it look natural. Like I didn't know how to make. I didn't know how to keep things consistent. You know, like, it, it's its own skill set. That's... Like, that's the thing. Um... You know, just... Having skill in drawing doesn't mean you have skill in animation. <laughs> like, that is the reason why... It has its own, like... Psychos. I mean, it's not... The hardest thing in the world to learn. But it is... A lot. <laughs> It's a lot. It's a big stat, um, and not everyone, not everyone is for it. I just realized you still had that sunglass. Yeah, I just kept them on. But it's tall, so <laughs> keep keeping it on. Um, yeah, like. Not everyone is for animation. I'm in an animation course, and not everyone in the course wants to do animation. That's... Because animation isn't one thing. Like, there's a bunch of different things that come into it. Um, like, there's character design, which is what I mainly want to do, but I also want to do 2D animation. And then there's... <laughs> no, um, it, it's because animation courses cover a variety of different things, because you have to remember, like, animation courses cover basically any part that there is in animation in regards to like actually not even just in regards to art like I think there's bits where it covers like story writing as well um like we, we cover a lot of things in it this thing um like yeah there's the 2D animation part and the 3D animation part like we learned that yeah but it's made up a small part of the course like it's a fraction. Like just learning to animate like straight up, that like obviously it's in there, but it's <laughs> arguably not actually the concentration of it. Um, I mean, we spent a lot of time in like the first semester of um, just learning it, like in the first place. But <laughs> there's. We've learned storyboarding as well, like, we did that, we did character design, um, animation as well, like, fully. Um, there's also background art, um, concept art, there's, like, writing scripts and stuff. Um, there is... The course I'm in, it teaches, like, a little bit of everything and then lets us learn from there. Like, it lets us pick our own specialties from there. Like, I'm planning to be character design and 2D animator, 
like I said a few times before actually. Um, internet's shooting itself again, do I have to restart and stuff? I might be back before you get off or if not, I hope this is all fine. Okay, thank you for coming along. If you don't get back. And I'm pretty much done to be honest. <laughs> I mean, that's about it. I mean, we're just here now. It's pretty much finished. Another sicker. Uh, he'll do, I think. Yeah, I think he'll do. Two, two will do. Two will do. Two will do. Hmm. Anything else? I don't think there is. I don't think so. I think that's about it. Yeah, yeah. That looks to be about it. It's pretty much finished. Go on the Platinium. <laughs> We're having a lot of fun coming up with the new versions of my name, huh? <laughs> Hello, Yasuki. <laughs> I'm just finishing up pretty much, but... <laughs> hello, hello. I can stay on for a bit, just chat. But I'm pretty much done with the art part. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stay for my sake. Nah, that's cool. I want to chat for a bit longer anyway. Um, I was just talking about um, animation. I'm falling asleep, to be honest. Oh, same. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. so, so nice. oh, hello. Yeah, I was talking about um, animation. Um, and, like, Animation isn't just animation. <laughs> you know, it's not just the animation part. Um, shit, a lot of people don't realize when they hear animation, of course, that it's not just the animation part that we learn. We learn everything involved in it, pretty much. <laughs> a little bit of everything. I was talking about that. I was talking about. Um, Specialisms I plan to do are character design and 2D animation, which is pretty standard ish. But like, there's other stuff like storyboarding and just all that. I can't think of everything right now. There's a lot. There's a lot you can do. <laughs> That's way too. My voice is pretty rough, so <laughs> it's not the best it could be. Perfect. Thank you, anyway. I can probably do better, but my voice is pretty trashed at the moment. But I have been talking for uh, nearly three hours <laughs> straight, basically. Can I get my thing in there? I don't know. I don't usually put my signatures inside. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I'm gonna do a transparent image, it might be better. But uh, it doesn't look right. I don't like having it inside the character. I don't like having it in the art. Grr. Here, I'm super indecisive just for putting my 
fucking watermark in. Good god. Okay, you know what? Good enough. That <laughs> that's it. I'm done. There we go. It's not the best, but it's there. <laughs> sure is there. <laughs> there he is. That's Kalios. <laughs> I need to know the water jeans. Ah! It takes so long to save while it's the industry. Jeez, oh my god. Come on! Hurry up! Save for me. Please and thank. Please, hurry up. Come in. Nearly there. Come in. You can't see the rankings. There we go. You can't see the, um, all the file stuff, but... <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... It's, uh, chugging a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that's me. Done drawing. Ah, stretching now. It's past midnight too, it's the latest I've stayed up in a little while actually. Two days. But I am quite tired. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna pop off. <sighs> I'm surprised I managed to go for this long actually. Ah, everyone else is like a little bit of a bitch. Okay. <sighs> nice. It's been a, a stream. <laughs> Definitely. It's certainly been a stream. Sure has been a stream. Um, mm. Mm -hmm. My voice is like super fucked. Oh my god, I need to rest it. Definitely. If nothing else, <laughs> I need to rest my voice. But, um, yeah. Thank you for coming if you came for a little bit or a lot of bit. Thank you. Um, even if you're only here for just a teeny tiny portion. Um, here is here. I still appreciate it. Oh god, I'm hearing how rough my voice is. Oh no. Yeah, okay, then he's resting. Cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm actually surprised I finished this, to be honest. But you know, cool, I guess. Great. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll post it later, I guess. Probably. I, I, I guess. <laughs> I'll post it at some point. <laughs> I'll probably post it later. We'll save it and post it like a good, a good little fairy. Um, but yeah. yeah. Thank you for coming. And, uh, good night. <laughs> Buona notte.